Hey guys, it's me, Black Road Mini Flows, and today I'm going to be reading a different autistic story, or an autism story. I don't know if I'll continue the other one. Maybe some other time, but for now I'm going to be reading this one. I haven't got much time to ramble. I'm normally done recording by now, and I thought I would be because I started at two, and I thought I'd be done way before the time it is now. But for some reason, I'm not. So let's just get on with it. Hello, my name is Josephine and I'm from Denmark. I'm 20 years old and I'm autistic. This book is pretty old. So, autism is a neurological condition. An invisible handicap in your head. You can't affect others with it and you can only get autism if you're born with it. People with autism can have a challenging time communicating and socialising with others and their senses might be more sensitive. Of course, it's different from person to person. A person with autism can have very sensitive ears, while other people with autism, autism don't. We are all different. Also, we're all unique and special. Some people with autism can look at one pi a picture once and then remember everything about it, even after two years. Others can solve tricky, a tricky maths question in less than five seconds again. It's different from person to person. If you give an autist, autistic person a chance to show what they love, what they can do instead of judging them right away, you'll find that there's a lot more about it. We never asked that we were born this way, and we can't change who we are. Now in this book, I'll show you 20 drawings of how I see the world and how I feel every day. Not every autistic person might feel it, it might experience all these things I've drawn. These are just drawings of my life. I decided to do this because I haven't seen anyone else do it. I've only seen parents with, with autistic children who have made comics about it and people who like who likes to make fun of it. So I just wanted to make my own drawings and comics. My drawings are not perfect, so don't get high expectations. I hope you enjoy. This drawing shows how I react when my parents are arguing. It's not too often, luckily, when it happens, I try to listen to music. In my room, my pillows always has to lay right there. My school, my school bag has to hang right there. My computer is supposed to be there. They're just... They just can't be anywhere else. If they are, I'll just put them back to their original spot. That's just how it works for me. After my parents have cleaned the room for me. I slept, right? This is. When I'm in public, there's so many people everywhere. Everyone's talking and taking up space. I rarely go out in public alone. I'm usually with someone. I trust my mum, my friends, etc. Being in public. Oh, I'm going to get murdered. Person I trust. Feel safe now. I don't like making eye contact for too long. Especially if I'm talking with someone and anyone else. I can easily have a conversation and make eye contact. Without making it awkward, but it's not easy for me. But just because I'm not looking at you doesn't mean I'm not listening. I actually... I actually listen better if you if I don't look at you. I receive information differently. Are you listening? Just because I'm not looking at you doesn't mean I'm not listening. I still live here in Denmark, where I've always been living, and I still go to the same school. Everything is still the same. I love it sometimes. I think about how it would be if I moved somewhere else and got a new life. I don't think I would enjoy it. I just want to thank my my mum for letting me stay here. What if I wanted to move? What if I moved to America and started in a new school where I don't know anyone? How would I be able to contact my friends and family if the time zone is completely different? What if my new classmates bullied me because I have autism? What if I never saw my friends from Denmark ever again? Would no one understand me or my feelings? Would I be forever alone. Thanks for letting me stay here, mum. In real life, I always have friends and family to, to support me. 
But on the internet, you can meet people from all around the world, which means you always meet someone different. Everyone has different opinions about everything. Not everyone is nice to you online. Of course, I do have some online friends who support me. I don't get bullied with my autism every day. Don't worry, but sometimes there is some though there is those kind of people who like making fun of it. When someone makes fun of autism or any any mental illnesses, we never ask to be this way. We can't change who we are. If you like making fun of us, go to hell. It's very rude. How would you feel if someone made fun of you? In my school, we are supposed to have a small area where all the special classes are from grade 0 to 9. We support each other and we have gym together. We are here for each other, all of us. We are, are all accepted for who we are. We understand each other. We support each other. We're all friends. We've had our arguments and fights, but most important, we are always here for each other. Autism or not, we are all special. I couldn't be happier in any other class. I've already said I don't like changes, of course, I haven't moved to America, but I've already been through some changes. For example, when someone I like has to move class, or when my my grandmother died, it's not funny. Of, of course, anyone else who would be sad too if they lost a grandparent, but anyone else who would change classes could just visit their friends during lunch breaks. I could just do the same, but the feeling hurts me more. It's nothing. We can always hang out during lunch breaks. True. New changes. Why can't he stay in my class? I like it when we're together every day. Why change? We all have to socialise sometimes and communicate, of course. Of course I'm not scared if I have to talk with my parents or my friends, but if it's someone I don't know very well, I can be very nervous. What do we have to talk about? What if the other person is bored? What if all this gets awkward? The same goes with having a friend coming over, or literally anyone. And I'm always so scared of making it awkward. I have these feelings, even with my own man. So, isn't the weather nice? Perfect weather for a picnic. I've heard many quotes about autism that I really like. If they can learn the way we learn, we teach they the way that they learn. Autism can't define me. I define autism. People with autism are colourful. They are often beautiful and like the rainbow they stand out. They all laugh at me because I'm different. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I laugh at them because they they are all the same. Okay, this one is probably something many can relate to. Being social takes up my energy and patience. I need to Loan time to change my battery, to charge my battery. Sometimes I even come up with excuses to leave. For example, I have some homework I need to do, or I forgot I'm actually busy right now, etc. Some other things that can annoy my ears is fork scratching a plate, a train passing by, the vacuum, etc. These noises can literally hurt my ears, not that my ears can start bleeding more easily than others. My ears are just more sensitive. My ears hurt. Most of the time I do understand sarcas sarcasm, but there are some rare moments where I'm not sure if two, pe two people are actually mad at each other or if they're just making fun. Best friends usually teach each other and call each other names for fun, but I'm not I'm not always sure if it's still okay or if they've gone too far. Hey! hey well, stay quiet, it's just for fun. They're not really insulting each other. Could you c could you be a little more n nice to each other? <laughs> no one really keeps any secrets from me, but yeah, I still have to ask about a lot of things. What's this bot, Pharaoh, Indolence? maverick i don't know i've never heard of these things before how can anyone else know i don't get it sometimes it's kind of funny and now he's stuck in a dilemma what is a dilemma how long have i been recording for not long when i'm at parties or visiting a place with many strangers i usually sit somewhere comfortable and listening to music 
I don't like talking to strangers when they start talking to me first. And they seem nice. Don't be surprised if we are, are to a party and I'm sitting alone and listening to music. Music comforts me. I'm a very picky person. When you're at a restaurant, you would of course order the food you like and they have to give you the food you ordered. Sometimes it's kind of embarrassing how picky I am. I don't like most vegetables. We always say the same things when we order food. Sometimes it's a little embarrassing how picky I can be when it comes to ordering food in restaurants. And my daughter wants a burger without cucumber, lettuce and tomato. I've had some lessons in normal class before. For example, I've been good at English. So I've taken lessons in normal classes that suited my... The others are, of course, nice to me and respect me, but I do see some differences in normal classes. There's a lot more students, there's a lot more noise. Sometimes I don't feel like the teacher makes sense. The teacher will always explain things in a simple way and make sure everyone understands. Everyone is quiet when needed. Less bullying, we are all friends with each other. Less students. It's not a class. I always see other girls wearing the new, newest trend and they make sure to put on makeup and look good. Me, I choose something I like. It's not like I don't like their style. It just fits them better and looks better on them. I'm that type of person who would wear a pink dress when everyone else wears shorts and shoulder showing tops if that's what it's called also i don't wear makeup i'm comfortable with how i look already i don't know if this is a part of my autism or not but whenever someone's asked me do you want to play ba basketball or something i usually say no i'm not very active i'm just not interested in sports i would much rather just sit indoors and play video games on my computer do you want to play football no thanks. When I'm in public, I can be shy. When I'm playing online games on my computer, I could look like a model that loves socialising. I'm not pretending to be someone else. I'm just less shy online. I actually just noticed that I'm in the, I'm the same online in real life. In real life, I can be shy. If I'm with my friends, I can do anything. Same with online. Shy unless I'm with the right people in public. In online games. Thanks for reading my book, whatever it's called. Since I've written this online, I hope it's made made you help see how people with autism experience everyday life. Of course, not all pictures show how all aut autistic people are. These are just drawings I've made about myself. Others might have bigger problems with talking with than me or touching things. Thank you all so much for the reading blah 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 that was quite a short story but some of the things she mentioned I actually experienced myself I can't make eye contact I find it hard to get things done I'm different from me to I am in real life those are just a few that I can remember her mentioning and I just prefer to stay online but I sometimes do get offline but I mostly have priorities to do online I try to get done by now but I just need to get this video done and then I can get to it this video might end up being short because this was quite a short story but that's quite good because time is getting on and I've got other things that I could be doing so thanks for watching this video. Bye. Wait,